Hey everyone, it's me, Mimi Comps, and today we're going to be making Sporky from the new upcoming Toy Story 4 movie that's coming out next spring. So this is actually something I've been wanting to do for a while now because I figure Sporky is kind of a craft himself, so this is a DIY of sorts and we're going to try to recreate him as best we can. I think this will probably turn out looking really ugly, but, you know, Sporky himself is kind of ugly looking, so, you know, that's the goal. <laughs> so, so the first, the materials that you're going to need and that I've collected for this or are, I've got a pair of scissors. Um, you need to get some that cut really well because if you do not have a spork, you're going to need to cut a spoon into a spork. So it'll be better if you have like the best pair of scissors you can find. Also I have glue for his googly eyes, popsicle sticks for the legs, um, one red pipe cleaner for his arms, and then a red sharpie and a blue sharpie for his eyebrows and his mouth. Then we, of course, also need to have a spork, but I don't have a spork, so I'm going to be using this spoon and cutting out little spork-like things into it. Also, um, instead of, like, the gum that is on the bottom sticking his feet to his body, I'm going to be using white clay since I don't want to be, like, disgusting, you know? And for his googly eyes, I've picked out a bunch of different sizes. But if you can find two small googly eyes, one that's slightly bigger than the other, that's the best. Let's get to crafting. I know that probably the first step I need to do is to cut this spoon into a sport because I'm consulting on my phone right now. But what really needs to happen is just like four very small like triangles on the top of the sport. It should be pretty simple. I don't think I need to do too much to that part of him. Got the first triangle cut out. That's what it looks like so far. Okay, so I did this to him. It looks a little uneven right now, so I'm going to just cut an extra spork on the other end to even it out. This is the finished spork. This step can be completely stipped, st skipped if you do find a white spork. Also, if you only have a black spork, you can always paint it. Um, but, you know, I was not able to find a spork, so this is what I'm dealing with. I think the next step would probably be the googly eyes, just because those things need to be glued on in order to know where the mouth and the eyebrows are for the face of Sporky. So... This is the stuff that's kind of scary. No, if I do this wrong, it will look bad. <laughs> so just, I think you need to get a good idea at first where you want them to be. Um, it's hard to show you right now because I need to have the spork this way in order for them to not fall off. Um, and also, since the spork's really indented, they'll tend to move more towards the middle, but you want to make sure they're not in the middle too much that they're like a good like eye distance, you know, just be a good judge of that. With your glue, go ahead and make sure that the eyeballs are different sizes. I can't really show you this that well right now, but you want different sizes, yeah. Okay. So take one eyeball, I'm gonna glue it. My cat's right here. Okay, right. I'm just gonna use the like tip of this pin and get some glue onto the eyeball. I'm gonna put that on there. And then we got it. Yay! <laughs> this looks so stupid, but hopefully he's an important character. I've only seen the trailer. So hopefully Sporky gets some good screen time. Maybe they'll sell some Sporky merch and then I will have my own. So we got the second eyeball ready now. Also, let me get, let me know, guys, what your 
favorite Pixar movie is. I know that there's like, people will most likely say a whole ton of different answers. Um, because there's, they're just all so good. Um, well, let me know because I'm really curious, you know. And there's the other eye. So this is Sork <laughs> so far. And I think now that we're kind of going to let that dry, I don't want to do too much on his face right now. So for the arms, he has a little red um, pipe cleaner. Uh, let me just see how long it is. Actually, it's pretty short. You might want to use your scissors. I'm just going to start out folding it. So it seems kind of like he has it folded around once on his stomach. Um, if you want to make sure this stays in place, you might want to glue it. I'm not going to glue it yet so that I know, you know, that I can move it around before it's finalized. Also, he looks like he has little claw hands. Maybe that's just because he's holding everyone's hands in the trailer, but, um, I want to make sure I make his little claw hands, so just folding it over like that. Um, if you want to make them shorter, you can always fold them around extra times. Um, that might be what I just do instead of using scissors. There we got his little arms, and now I'm going to glue this down. I'll just put some glue on the sp spork underneath where it should be, and then I'll move it there. Actually, I'm so used to DIY videos being so short, and like, they do it so fast, but this, this is actually pretty quick, and I got it on there. So if you want to make your own, it's like really quite simple. You can do it with your kids. Um, Pretty kid friendly craft. Um, here we go. There's Sporky. Um, now I think the eyes should be dry enough, so I'm going to get to work on the mouth and the eyebrows, which is kind of the scariest thing because in the picture it does look like it uses some sort of like wiki sticks or something. I don't think that's really reasonable, like to make so small <laughs> and especially in the circle that his mouth is in. So I'm kind of nervous for this and the picture shows that he has red eyebrows and a blue mouth. His mouth is an O shaped. So first I guess I'll do the mouth. Okay, there's his mouth. <laughs> he looks so funny. Okay. Um, and I think his eyebrows are more like a, like a curved and not just straight. Just like draw a plan here for where you want the eyebrows to go. Now mine doesn't look too even, but it's kind of okay I think just because he's not supposed to be perfect. That is his face and I think it's actually starting to look like it. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now I've got to move on to the chewed up gum. I am not using chewed up gum because I do not recommend that. That sounds kind of disgusting. So I just got this. It was like a dollar from Michaels and it is white clay. This is more than you will need. Um, and so you can always just start making little clay figures with the rest. Um, if you do have like some odds and ends of clay, you can use that too. If not, and I really don't recommend this, but you could use chewed up gum or just glue I don't know, like some sort of play-doh onto the bottom. And so I'm just going to take like a small amount that might even be too much on its own and then just not good with clay. I am not one with clay. Um, you want to get it to like kind of like a ball. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, like a little wad and then Stick Forky in. <laughs> and then you got your two popsicle sticks, and you're gonna somehow get those into the wad as well. <laughs> My popsicle sticks are abnormally long, so I'm going to be cutting them. There we go. 
put them in the slits that you made earlier and judge if that's like a good length. Also you want to make sure that the bottom is kind of flat so you can sand your forky, forky up like, like normal. Um, this actually is the part that looks weird. I feel like I need to consult the picture again because this just looks weird and I feel bad for Sparky, you know? He has like a sad life, but it's okay. <laughs> you need, and this is the hardest thing to find, I think, if you're going to make this. It might be like the one thing you can't find at home and that is a sticker that has a rainbow on it, but it needs to be small enough to fit on one of the legs. I don't have one that's going to fit. And I came up with two um, rainbow stickers. Um, the first one is this one, which I think I can um, cut and it will um, turn out good. And then this Lisa Frank sticker book has one as well um, with hearts on them. I think that'll also work out. So I think I'm going to try this since there are a lot to choose from and they're smaller to start with. Um, also, I think just like looking at him, yeah, it's gonna work better on the popsicle stick. The rainbow, since this one has hearts on the end, I think I'm gonna cut them off. And you're left with like a little rainbow here. Um, I wasn't able to find these at Michael's either, like rainbow stickers. And you got Spark Sporky's identifiable sticker. I think another thing is his legs should be shorter, so. I'm going to quickly cut them again. I'm not sure which side his sticker's on because like the picture makes it seem like it's on his left. So that might be true. I'm not sure. Okay. And then you've got Sporky. <laughs> and he's not a toy. So <laughs> remember that. He does not belong here. Um, I think it turned out fairly well. I mean he does look like Sporky and he has like all the features that Sporky has. I'll put a picture and then you can compare them. I'm really proud. Um, another thing that you could do though if like you wanted to to make it more accurate is like put blush on his cheeks. I was not like, I was not really ready to do that because like I don't have a good chalk that will stick on here. Okay, so if you have a Sporky, feel free to like send it to me. I have my email, I think, on um, the channel. And I really would love to see um, other Sporkies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has been making him. And also, I'm excited to see the movie. I'm going to put him on my like Pixar shelf. So, here. So, I'll put him right here. He's at home. <laughs> Even though he's not a toy. And yeah, so there he is. I'll like show you like a good close up of him now. Ta da! Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy with how this DIY turned out. Um, and if you do it at home, like please go and then also see Toy Story 4 when it comes out because I am and I'm really excited about it. And that's pretty much all. Um, I hope you like this video. Please comment and subscribe and do all the other stuff. Um, basically though, the most things that I appreciate are comments because I love reading them and seeing what you guys have to say. Uh, yeah. Um, my other videos coming up soon are some end of the year stuff. A lot of it has to do with Christmas because like it's Christmas time. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm making. So thanks for watching. Bye.